We are going to stop radical Islamic terrorism in this country. She won't even mention the words, and neither will President Obama. We need to keep our eye on ISIS. That's why I want to have an intelligence surge that protects us here at home. National security has been a big issue during the campaign. ISIS reportedly calling for attacks on voters, both candidates, pledging to fight ISIS and build up America's military. But will it be an NEC for in the next four years? We're going to bring in Ryan Morrow. He's national security analyst for the Clarion Project. And we wanted to ask you about what we're hearing. I mean, this is terrifying. Americans have the right to vote. People are going to hit the polls, and we're hearing about terrorism, and ICE is saying to to get involved in how, what way? Right. Well, this is frightening, but it's also very predictable. So law enforcement is anticipating this, but ISIS I mean, did put out a threat. Voters? Yes, I mean, they, they said they go out and attack voters to the point where they said that actually the blood of voters should be spilled even more than those in the military. So they're saying all Americans are targets, but especially voters. And then within voters, what they said in this six-page document they put out, Muslim voters are the ones that they put the most emphasis on on attacking because they say they're participating in an un-Islamic system, our democracy. So in, in their crazy minds, they're targeting polling stations and looking for Muslims going to vote today? All voters, Muslims being an especial, a special issue for them because they say that you are an apostate. You, it, are, you claim to be a Muslim, but you are a traitor to our faith. How ready is the U.S. to deal with this? Very ready. Very ready. Everyone knew across the board in the intelligence community and law enforcement that terrorists look for opportunities like this. They always want to be in the headlines on what's mm -hmm. the top issue today. The Around election. The and so they that's need what to, I right. want to ask you. Who's going to be tougher over the next four years on terrorism? Because we can't tolerate this. We're Americans. We're a united country. And this is really obviously out of the realm. We're, this is not correct, and we're not going to stand for it. So which of the candidates, or both, would really battle this? Well, what ISIS said in the same document was that Trump and Hillary are basically the same. They're both parts of the Jewish conspiracy against Islam. Uh, so they hate them both, and that's not whoever we choose isn't going to impact them wanting to attack us. Where I personally struggle with is that Hillary has more knowledge and has had some impressive policy speeches, also has some blemishes on her record, obviously. But then Trump knows less, but then he has really good advisors. And so th this has been a real internal battle for me. Let's talk about cybersecurity for an issue, sure. because there's absolutely the possibility, not of the, the voting machines, because they're not connected to right. the Internet. Uh, they wouldn't be hacked today, but a news site that disseminates information could be hacked, namely by Russian hackers. What are the chances of that happening? Well, you have to assume that anything that's connected to the Internet is hackable and that the Chinese, the Russians, the North Koreans, the Iranians, everyone has been looking at how to do this. And there has been panic over the past decade over our lack of cybersecurity with key infrastructure. And there's also the issue well, of not just fraudulent election results, but just casting doubt on the results to stir up instability. That would be a victory for our adversaries. Reportedly, the U.S. has the ability right now, if Russia attacks us today, to go into their infrastructure and turn off their lights and turn yep. off their internet. And notice that that was reported. That was a warning to Russia. <laughs> that was a warning. You can hack into us, but we can also hack into well, you and we're we ready. Need, right. We need to be a superpower and really stand our ground. I mean, we're not going to be pushed around. What about yeah. extremism right here in the United States? We talk about so many of the people who hate Americans, and yet they assimilate and become a part of our society, and they do suicide bombings. There's been even some, the extreme ideas that there's going to be a nuclear weapon on one side. Iran's going to have one, China's going to have another one on the East Coast right. and take America out. I mean, have you heard that crazy theory? Well, the crazy, so-called crazy theory that I hear most often, often is what's called the electromagnetic pulse, which is when you detonate a nuclear weapon in the atmosphere, and that's something that Iran has been studying and practicing how to do. Mm -hmm. So when they say death to America, what they're likely envisioning is an EMP attack. So uh, very often those that are soft on Iran say, well, one bomb, what can you do with it? You only need one. If you want to be extra sure that you're going to destroy your enemy, then two. That's all you need. That's what I heard yesterday. That's crazy. Okay, Lauren. Yeah. How strong is ISIS right now? They're weakening. I'm very happy to say that they're weakening. We don't do a good enough job of broadcasting our victories over ISIS, but they are on, this, on a steep decline. But however, Al-Qaeda can pick up the slack. Because even if you demolish ISIS, that jihadist ideology is still around. And then just, the question is, all right, now who's the big boy in town to pick up the mantle? And it's going to be al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda is actually increasing in power in Syria. Let's bring it right back to Election Day. Sure. People are going to be lining up. They're already doing so in Vermont. 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, all the states start opening. Your thoughts on Election Day, terrorism, the like, how to protect ourselves. Are we ready? 
Law enforcement is definitely ready, and it's also the responsibility of everyone to, despite these threats, go out and vote. And because you don't want to give in to the terrorists, give them what they want, but also it's an ideological victory because they say in their threat that they're basically asking God to grant them an attack on Election Day and they scare people away from voting. Go out and vote so that we can say to ISIS, how come yet again your God's not listening to you when you say that you're going to come and get us. Our message is go out and vote. It go is Election Day, Tuesday, November 8th. Ryan Morrow, a national security analyst, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Never live in fear.